So Bob, tell me about the garden. No, I'll show you. It's right over here. She did amazing things here. Well, you can imagine how it once was. <sighs> Wish I could hire a gardener. Can you hear me? Yeah, we're pretty close now, aren't we, guys? Y'all about to start? Leave it alone, please. Bob, tell me some more about the service. Well, it's a new company. What they do is really new. And the process is interesting. They're total professionals. I was impressed. Where did you find them? The internet. I did go the extra mile to make sure they were legit. I mean, I could have found somebody off of Craigslist or whatever, but you know, I had a friend once who found a guy online to remodel his kitchen. Well, three guys and $30,000 later, it's still a work in progress. For what I needed, it had to happen now and be done right. They delivered. I understand that since that time you've experienced some alienation. Yes, you can definitely say that. From her family, especially. You know, right from the get-go, her family was critical of me. Classic story of star-crossed lovers coming from opposite sides of the tracks. I mean, two months is a short courtship, I understand that. But true love, it can't be denied. What her family would prefer is something way less than what her love is worth. At this point, they consider their daughter gone and buried, rather than what this is. It's a new beginning. And your friends, how have they responded? For the most part, good. I mean, you really get to know who your close friends are when times are tough. Bob, I'd like to talk now about the accident, if we could. OK. Well, everyone was taken by surprise. <sighs> it was sudden. And at the hospital, it wasn't any easier. She looked fine, like there wasn't anything wrong with her. At that time, everyone was very supportive. Isn't there a current lawsuit pending filed by her family? Is that right? Yeah, it's making its way to the state Supreme Court. And what is it that they're hoping to accomplish with this suit? They're looking to sue to get their daughter's estate back. Which she inherited from her grandfather, is that correct? Yeah. So it's been six months since the accident. How are you doing now? Well. With close friends and the ever-present spirit of my wife, I'd say I've been slow to heal, but I am healing. Have you considered dating? I've warmed more to the idea. This Friday? Oh, yeah. I, I, I'm supposed to be meeting a, a lady this Friday. It's sort of an unofficial date. Will you tell her? Tell her? Well, you're not exactly married anymore. Hey, I'm public about my love for her. I'm a PDA man. That's public display of affection. Thank you. That's right. And there will always be a place in my heart for her. So when you go out this Friday, how will you tell her? Oh, I'm not going to tell her then. So how can you keep it a secret? No, it's not a secret. It's just that, well, you know, first date is the first impression. I mean, no one, no one s reveals their, their deepest secrets right off the bat. She might think I'm emotionally unavailable. <laughs> anyway, if she has feelings for me, then I'll tell her, and she can make up her mind to share my love. You keep your wife's memorial covered. It makes me wonder if you don't want people to see her. I, I don't know. If you, I suppose if you put it that way, I, I might sound like I'm a little crazy, like, like I'm making something up, like, oh, I keep my wife in my coffee table or something. <laughs> no, I mean you keep a cover on it. Oh, oh, <laughs> oh sorry. no. Uh, well, I suppose it's all right. See, in the morning, the sunlight shines across the room. I was told not to expose her to direct light. It could damage your complexion. But here she is, my lovely wife. God, she's beautiful, isn't she? Very unique. Bob, this procedure, it was pretty expensive, right? Oh, yeah. But, you know, I would have sold my house, my truck, or the clothes off my back. How could you afford it? 
my wife's estate. Oh, of course. I get your meaning now about her family suing to get the estate back. Whatever money they hope they can scrape out of what's left of her estate? They wouldn't use it to preserve her memory. Not like I have. She belongs here, at home. Our home, don't you think? What do you think they'd do with her? They'd destroy her, like old useless furniture. Is that love? I know she'd want me to do the right thing. And this way, I give back. You know, profiting off of someone's life insurance is like rifling through their pockets. And if you spend their savings, it's just plain stealing. I did have to spend some out of pocket. And of course, her family didn't help with that. Well, you'll always have a deep love for your coffee table. Wife. How will... How do you think it's possible for you to share this love? Look, so many people are, like her family are hypocrites because of this. This whole, this whole thing about bury the past, forget why you cared, find some new temporary thing. It's stupid. True love isn't supposed to be like that. True love is forever. Like in The Princess Bride, when the dead hero gets air pumped into his lungs and the old miracle man asks, what in life is worth living for? And you know what the hero says? True love. And the old miracle man thought he said, to blave, which we all know is to steal. It means to steal, but he didn't say that. That was our favorite movie. I can see how much you love your wife, and what you've done here really speaks for itself. But Bob, how, how will you date again, love again, and more importantly, how will you balance the love of two women? Like the old woman in Titanic said, Another movie? My heart is like a depthless ocean. I have this touch of my feminine side, which allows me to feel this depthless love. My wife wouldn't want me to live a life of loneliness. So what now? So now I, I try to liven that loneliness. I don't know. Maybe a, a widow would be best for a widower. Maybe I should sign up on matchmaker.com as widower. If it doesn't work out this Friday. And what if something does work out, a new relationship? What then? I'll be opening up the pearly gates for both wives to share a condo with me in heaven. We'll each take our turn in the kitchen. Thank you, Mr. Smith, for opening up your home today and for sharing your story with us. That's a wrap, guys. How do I look? You look good. Not as good as my wife, I bet? She's having a good hair day. <laughs> <laughs> I'd like to thank you from the bottom of my heart. I hope this brings some truth to the matter finally, you know? We'll be in touch. Yeah? Yes, I'll let you know when we're going to air the story, OK? Off the record, I'm just curious. Why a coffee table? What, don't you like it? Oh, no, that's not it at all. It's very nice. It's just that it's an unusual way to preserve your love. This way, she's still functional. Even in the afterlife, she's a giver. She's part of the home. Interesting. I was just curious. Wait. What? You'll like this. Oh, God. Should you? Oh, yeah. She's made for this. Well, I had no idea there was more to it. <clears throat> Drink holder. Footrest. <laughs> And for the holidays.
Nutcracker. Music. Uh, uh, uh.